Hello, welcome to another video. I am going to solve this one and you will solve this one as homework. Now, when you're done solving this, just put the answer in the comment, okay? Make sure you give it a shot. Now, if you're too shy to tell us that you got the answer, just say, I got the answer. Or just type the answer. That way we know you actually got the answer. Okay, now, one thing you need to be able to answer questions like this is this. This is the angle sum identity for both sine and cosine and the angle difference. By the way, you don't have to memorize all four because once you know the first one, you will know the second one because all you have to do is switch the signs. Okay, you just have to know the first one. Okay, you just switch the sign wherever you see it. If you know the first one here, you know that when this becomes a minus, then this becomes a plus. Then practice it over time, you get used to it. So how do we use this to integrate the product of two functions that have different arguments? Because there is no identity you can use in this case. Because look, here this says 13 theta, this says 3 theta. Yeah, this is too complicated. And this, you even have fractions in the one I'm going to solve. So what do I do? All I have to ask myself is, which of these contains the product of sine and cosine? Then I go to what I have already memorized and go, which one has the product of sine and cosine? It's obviously this one. Sine and cosine is in the top one, is in the bottom one. So I want to retain this part. I don't want this part. I want to retain this part. And the only way to eliminate this portion from both equations is to add the equations together. So look at the steps. Firstly, I already know these four. Number two, I look at the problem I have. I see that the arguments are not the same. So I'm going to go, okay, if the arguments are not the same, it simply means that I'm looking for a function or a trig identity that has the product of sine and cosine that are not the same. So I go here and I go, this is sine A cosine B. Nice. I need this part. So I need to eliminate this portion because what's going to happen is what you have on the left is just sine of something and cosine of something. And you know how to integrate the sine of anything or the cosine of anything, you, but you don't know how to integrate the product. So that's why we need to eliminate this. So let's apply that here. So because it's a product of sine and cosine, we're doing both of these. Now for your homework, because it is the product of cosine and cosine, your focus will be on this second part, okay? And the part you want to keep is this part. You're going to eliminate this part by adding them together. So let's do the addition here. So we're going to say that if we add this to this, we're going to have um, sine, a plus B added to sine A minus B. Well, our answer is going to be the sum of these two, which is the same thing repeated to sine A cos B, okay, cosine B. And then these two will be eliminated. You don't have them anymore because it's the same thing. Now, but what we want is just this part. We just want sine A cosine b, we don't want this two here. So if we rewrite sine a cosine b, we can see that sine a times cosine b is basically half of this. So if we divide everything by two, you're going to end up with half of sine a plus b added to one half of sine a minus b. So clearly, we can integrate this we can integrate this if only we know what a plus b is and what a minus b is. Well, from what we have, our a is going to be 4x and b is going to be 3x over 5. So let's quickly evaluate what a plus b are, a plus b and a minus b are, and then we can integrate. So we have, um, let a be equal to 4x and b be equal to 3x over 5, okay, such that. What's a plus b now? a plus b is going to be the sum of this to this added to this is going to be 23x over 5. 23x over 5. 
And what will a minus b? a minus b will be 4 minus 3 this, so that's going to be 20 minus 3, 17x. And then a minus b equals 17x over 5. And that's it. So it's time to integrate. Let's do it. So we're going to say that the integral of sine 4x cosine 3x over 5, let's make these like this, is the same thing as the integral. So we're going to be integrating this and this. So I'm going to write 1 half, bring it to the front, 1 half of sine a plus b, which is 23, 23x, 23x over 5 dx, plus 1 half the integral of a minus b is going to be this sine 17x over 5 dx. Okay, we know how to integrate. Let me just bring this here so I don't go too far. Well, this is 1 half multiplied by, what's the integral of sine? It's negative cosine, so it's going to be this times negative cosine 23x over 5. But remember, when you integrate any cosine function, you take the derivative of what's inside, and then you use it to divide. Okay, so the derivative of this is 23 over 5, but when you use it to divide, it becomes 5 over 23 as a product, times 5 over 23. Okay, we do the same thing here. It's going to be plus um, 1 half again. We take the derivative of this is going to be negative cosine 17x over 5 multiplied by or divided by the derivative of what this is, which is going to be 17 over 5. You flip it, it's going to be 5 over 17. Okay, now let's clean up. Final answer. This answer is going to be this multiplied by this is 5 over 46 negative. So it's negative 5 over 46 cosine 23x over 5 minus what do we have here? We've got um, negative 5 over 34 cosine 17x over 5. And this is our answer. Now, if you want to factor out negative 5, that's okay, but I'm not doing that. Plus C. Oh, oh, that's a disaster. Okay, here we go. Now, do your homework. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.